like the Minister of Agriculture must do this, but it is actually the Minister of Labor and Social Welfare that should network to ensure that everybody gets food. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, to say you wait for ask that ministry, then it's disjointed. When you say uh, that person ask Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Labor and Social Welfare, it's not about the poor only. It's about even the rich. Are they likely to get the social safety nets in the country? So I'm putting to you that uh, well you have answered, you are only concentrating on the poor. But we are talking of a drought. A drought doesn't miss uh, uh, those who might have money and cannot buy anything. So you need to put your social safety net and tie it up with the, the Minister of Agriculture to ensure that uh, people get food. And the corruption I was talking about is not even at your level, at, at the ministry level. It might be there at the ministry level. At the lower level, where I tell you that uh, the person who gets everything, I mean, the, those who get, the, they get almost everything from anywhere. Yes. So you must have an assessment mm. rather than to say you appeal. You, there is too much corruption in the, in the network mm. to the extent that you discover nothing. Mm. So you as a senior official, you must be able to say, let's look at this properly and get answers. And when I'm talking here, it's not a political question. It's a question of realizing how people are suffering down there. And they end up blaming the government when they are not supposed to be. It, it is not even the president or someone else. It is really the fault of officials who allow that to happen on the ground. And uh, there are so many people who are being refused food at the age of over 70. And also there are so many of them who can even farm, but when they fail to to harvest, they get nothing. So please look at those people. They also need the social safety nets when it comes to a year like this one.